Omode Metan Shiri, Ereo Bon Shiri Ayo. That's a Yoruba folklore about children playing together. And this video summarizes it all. Welcome back to Tales, my name's Femi. Nestled in the heart of Ikeja is the most colorful public park, and that is Dr. Abayomi Feni Park. The Dr. Abayomi Feni Park in Oregon was named after a prominent medical practitioner is an elder statesman and his name is Dr. Oluyomi Abayomi Fini. It was commissioned in August 2019, making it five years this park has been open. The park, however, saw a bit of a downside because in October 2020, during the public protest popularly known as the End SARS movement in Nigeria, part of this park was also demolished. So what you're looking at right now is a renovation of the aftermath of the End SARS protest and it still remains one of the most colorful parks here in Lagos. The park is filled with color and serenity, which is perfect for a day out. As you enter, you'll be greeted with a stunning array of flowers and foliage, each of them adding to its unique hue to this spectacular urban oasis. Because of the location of the park, which is adjacent to the Okwebi Link and also adjacent to the Oregon, you get the usual noise of people honking, going to work, commuting back home because the park is just seated just as you approach Oregon Link Bridge. Initially, when this park was open, it used to be free, but I'll get back to the price later on in the video because it's no longer free to enter. There are different slides and areas for children to play. It also has a park lane for children to bring in their bicycles and ride their bicycles. But I would advise if you're coming in to ride your bicycle, you come with a helmet because this park lane is a little bit slopey. So when you're descending, you tend to go really, really fast, but it's pretty much safe. Now, what's a park without a mini zoo, right? Well, you have one here as well. The park has a section for different kinds of birds. The only thing that I found is that these birds are not labeled. You don't know their names. You don't know where they're from. Looking at this picture, you're guessing at these ducks or at these geese. It would really help the children understand the kind of animals, what they eat, where they're from and things like that. But I didn't get that information here at the park. The park also has a mini library for children where they get to read storybooks. It's a quiet zone and also adults can play at the pool table while they wait for their children to play. If you're coming in with guests, like a large gathering, there's a space where your guests can stay. You bring in your food and your drinks and you can party till the park closes. Just as you heard my voice, the amount of trees and plants in this park is amazing. Um, the air around here is, is quite clean. It is such an oxymoron because not too far from here is the landfill, the Olushoso landfill, which is popular for dumping refuse here in the state. But because of the amount of trees in this park, it sort of tends to balance the smell. So it is a green area, well maintained, well kept, and the air around here is pretty good. There's also a restaurant that's for those that didn't bring their food and their drinks. And you can try out the restaurant called the Palazzo. It has a lovely sit out area for those that wanted to have like a picnic, a solo outing, perfect place for a proposal and a lovely gazebo. So all you have to do is bring in your mat, your balloons, decorate it and enjoy enjoy the oasis in the garden celebration any kind of celebration solo outing it's really it can be really you could just imagine just putting a, a mat here and just having a solo picnic i like the fact that you don't have to necessarily buy what they have here you can actually bring things in so which is good they also have a there's also a restroom and that's the building right there for female and male so if you want to use the bathroom or the restroom there's flowing water. Everything is pretty much here. All you have to do is come in either with your mats, your bicycles, food and drinks. And even if you don't have any of that, you can get places where to buy your food, which is a restaurant. 
and but they're, they're not bicycles for children but they're places for them to run around you have the slides you have the swings you have the sand there's so much to cover and for adults as well there's a place to just sit down under the shade and enjoy and not think about the, the, the things that are happening around Lagos this is an artificial pond but the dogs here are not real <laughs> Those dogs are real. They are not real. Oh shoot, the ponds are a little bit dirty. Yeah, the ponds are not real. Or rather, the dogs are not real. And the kids, by the way. And also, cars are not allowed. So, if you're bringing in your car, you have to park outside. I'm sure these cars are bringing in groceries or products for the restaurant right over there or maybe uh they allow few cars so i went there to confirm with the park manager and she said to me that cars are actually not allowed there's a parking space outside and you can also park on the road which is safe because there's security operatives there the few cars that are allowed in are for those that are bringing in produce or products for the restaurant and also come in to pack items for those that are having a large gathering. Other than that, you're allowed to pack outside. And the different types of bins promoting sustainability, you have the plastic waste bins, you have the one for compost, you have the one for the general waste. So it is all promoting sustainability and the park is clean. Did I mention that? The park is very clean. When you have few things that are on the floor, then it's the fault of the individuals that are not disposing their waste properly. But the park is generally clean, well trimmed, well maintained. There's nothing. That, I mean, I've not. I didn't find anything not to like or not to love. You have the few um, disadvantages or few minuses here and there, but those are things that can be improved on in terms of feedback. But other than that, it was a lovely place to be. So yes, yeah, so the cars in there are for the owners of the restaurant bringing in goods and also for those that came in for like an event. Other than that, if you're visiting the park, you can park either opposite the park, which is like the private park for the private car park for this park, or you can park on the road. But there is a relatively amount of car space or rather a parking space for people to park their vehicles. Entry into the park is a thousand naira for children and also for adults. I felt that's a little bit still affordable um, compared to other parks. But for what you get, I think it's a reasonable amount for children and even for their parents to come in and enjoy. If you're coming to use the library as a parent with your children, the lights here might not be that stable. So it's only a good place for you to read books and not necessarily a place to sort of like charge your laptops to work. So except you have a power bank for your device, then you can come, but you cannot come here depending that there will be power to do your work. To this okay. so away from the docks there are also birds whether these are pigeons i have no idea but hello birdie cook, cook. It's, 
a pigeon. It's, it's a pigeon, a right? And there's another pigeon right there. This Hello. looks like the local I pigeon I that we see. It was from your brother. I don't know why they don't Hello. have Hello. like a literature Hello. telling us the animals. That is something they should do. There should be like a literature here telling us the types of animals that are here, their names, what they eat, where they're from. I can see this ducks eating yellow corn and millet. And probably that's where they swim. Well, look at that. I captured it. Oh, look at that. Get in. Wow. Hello. Hello. That's probably where the ducks think. Those are the world arts. So this is the beach area and the trees, the shade, it is so nice. So it's really nice, even though we don't have so many people here, it's quite quiet and it's really nice. Look at that. Doing that! Oh, it's scared! And so if you are in the Ikeja area and you're looking to bring your children to the park this summer holiday here in the city of Lagos, you need to be aware that the JJT park that has multiple African flags was closed because of the protest, the end um, bad governance protests. It should be opened sometime this week. The Inamdi Kanu Park, which is just opposite the JJT park, is undergoing renovation so that park is currently closed so the abayomi Fini park is another alternative if you wanted to try something different it cost a thousand naira and if you wanted to get more information on the cost for a larger gathering social media shoots photography i would link the address here for you to take a look so like i said omode met and sherry it's a good place to relax with your children even for family it's a good place and the fact that this park is it is usually not as full as the other parks if you're someone that just likes to get away the quiet zone then this is the place for you okay